hello welcome so in this video i am going to create integration in that integration i will use select query so in previous video if you will see the playlist you will get that all the we have used atp adapter connection for getting data based on that operation so we have used insert update or create and all these things but now in this video i will use sql query to get data from atp table so ATP adapter provide a facility so that we can write the query and based on the query we can get the data. So here if you will see I have one ATP table that is xx underscore s 20 b in this table we have some records. So I just want to create integration in which I will pass the class name and I will get I will get the, all the data present in the table with the save that class name and I will return or get all the data as a response of that integration. So here if you will see this is the query so i will just use this query to get the data from atp table in integration so here i have used select id name class sessions from xx underscore s 20 b where class is equals to bca order by id so i have given order by so that the data comes in order <coughs> so but here you can see we cannot fix this where class class is equals to bca so what I will do, I will create integration and I will get the re request while running that integration and the in request I will get the one class name. So whatever class name user will provide based on that we need to fetch the data. So here instead of this hard code value by BCA, I will use parameter P and R score class. So in SQL if we are creating the query and we want to get a data as a parameter we are using colon or we are using end percent right so suppose here if i am using end percent i i will run it will ask the value so suppose i am giving bca okay so it will give the data based on that bca you can see that all the data right <coughs> so but in uh, sorry but in uh, uh, oracle integration for making a query as a parameter we have to use hash symbols so i will use same query the hash and I will use this query to get data from ATP table. So let me go and first create that integration. So also I have created the request and the response payload for same. So you can see that in request payload, I am going to get only give only P class, P and the stand for parameter, class value as BCA and based on this class, I will I may create integration and that integration will return all the data based on that particular class. So this is the sample of that payload. So as for this integration, I am going to return back data in array, array of this bulk of data. So here, that's why I have used as a result element and in that element, we have assigned this a square bracket for making that result as array. So here you can say this is the element, repetition of this element. That's why we make this as arrays. So I will use integration and I will uh, use these things in the uh, response payload, request and response. So just go and create integration. So here I will give the integration name ATP. So because these all are related to ATP, that's why I have given the name at ATP. ATP select query integration 02. Okay, just click on this create. In previous video, I have created integration uh, in which I have used operations like uh, uh, insert, update, or merge operation, and all. So you can go and watch that video. So integration is created and first I have to add that rest endpoint so that I can configure the uh, request and response payload. So this connection I have already created. If you have not watched, you can go and previously, you can watch previous video in which I have used all these things. So now I have to select post because I want to get a request and a response payload both. That's why I selected post, give the name. So I will give the name select data. Okay. And now go next here you have to configure the request payload so request payload structure will be JSON I have created the payload so I will use the payload for request I will assign payload here okay and now go to next go just now I have to response payload so in response also I will select JSON click here I have also created the payload for response so just copy this one and you can paste and just go okay so request and response payload configure go next and done so now my request and response payload is configured both endpoint is also configured so using this start rest we will get the request payload and using this map to start rest we will return back the response and we can configure the response response 
so now between this i have to add that atp adapter so that i can get the data so here i will select i have already created atp connection in previous video you can watch so i have just drag and drop the atp connection give the name of that atp i will select select atp i will because this in this i am going to use select query select query atp not here okay so here you can see that in previous video i have used perform an operation on a table so here we have perform insert update or insert or update it means that merge query select query and this thing or created videos for all this operation but now i have to run a sql statement so for run a sql statement just select here run a sql statement go to next and here you have to write the query so i have already prepared the queries the same query i will use so here i will select we don't require to use semicolon over there okay so just select the copy the query just press and first before going to click on next validate the query so your valid query is validated successfully then after you can go for next so just click on next and done so here if you will see in this query i have used one parameter one parameter as a p class underscore class so this hash symbol defined that parameter values okay so here if you will see this is my end endpoint adapter for select query atp so in this using this endpoint we will get the data from atp table based on that select query but in select query i have to map the uh, parameter which we have added as a p underscore classes so we have also configured that response request payload for this endpoint so this is p class so we will use this one to map this query parameter here so here if you will come to the integration here in this request we have that parameter p underscore class and here in this endpoint we have mapper for request so here we will map this to just edit and here you can say that a start rest request in request we have that parameter p class and also if you will see select query atp request we have the same class because we have configured p class this p underscore class is query class query parameter and this p underscore class is here here is the response request payload okay so i will map this two with this okay just click on validate and close so now our integration is completed to get the data from ATP table based on the parameter we assign with the SQL query. Now I have to return map the response of this ATP adapter with the response of this connection. So here we have a start rest point. So this in this we have configured request and the response. So here you we have used request. Now the response will be mapped to a start. So just click here. So once you will click here, you can see that this is the response start rest response and this is the start rest request so we have already used the request in mapping so i don't want request i require what we required we required atp response to map with integration response that is a start rest endpoint response so here we have select query atp response here we have select query atp request so in request you can see that we have one parameter as p class but in response we have all the value which we have selected in a st select a statement here you can see that all the value column id name class session and we know that this is returning the list of record right list of array we can say that's why you can see that we have created the response as a array now if you will see how you can identify the response that is array or not so you can see the symbol you can see the icon of the select query atp this node defined that this is the array and these are the element of that array this is all this will be the repeated element of that array and here also in response wrapper you can see the same you can see the result result is an array and this is the element so here you can see that in response we configure this result as an array that's why it's coming over there so what we have to do is that we have to map this array with this array we have to map this atp output array with that result array response array okay now we have to map this id with id we have to map with this name with name we have to map this class with class and we have to map this session with session and done just click on that validate everything is mapped just close so our integration is completed now we have one error related to uh, the tracing variable we will enable the tracing variable and just Why it's not gonna yeah. 
just save and close yeah so now I click on save again you can see that error is resolved just close and our integration is completed and also in configure a status so what we need to do we need to activate this integration just go activate while payload so that we can see the all the like log messages and all tracing messages so just refresh it will take some time to activate so here you can see that it's activated now just go click and run so here in body part you can see that this is the parameter we are going to pass and based on this parameter we will get the response so suppose we are going to pass bca click on test it will return all the data available with bca class so here you can see that we got the data in response we got all the data 102 103 105 and 106 here in table if you will see here one here we have two with bca three with bca and five and six with bca so we have four element with bca so we got four area of four element here you can see that so let me copy and let me show you here so you can see that this response is same as the structure we have assigned in response payload so here this is the result and this result is an array so here we have repeated element of these things so here you can see that one element second element third element and fourth element so suppose here if you see in, in the table for btec we have only one record so if we will pass the btec in the request it will return only one value so here just test and you can see that it return only one value as id 1004 and here in log messages you can see all the log messages here you can see that all these things so once you will click this message this is the send to select query so while running the atp adaptive atp query what value we have sent just to click on message we can see the parameter we send we send parameter p class as btec and what response we get we get response receive from select query atp as a result so here you can see that we respond 104 student btec and all same we have mapping here you can see so this is the integration in which we have used select a statement so thank you so much for watching if you have watched this video till here please subscribe i request you to please subscribe this channel please show some effort it will help me to grow it will help me to increase and make this videos again and again so thank you so much for watching love you